In this exciting new video, we take you on a journey to the depths of the ocean to explore the Mariana Trench, the deepest part of the world's oceans. But this isn't just any ordinary exploration. We're on the hunt for the elusive Megalodon, a prehistoric shark that was thought to have gone extinct millions of years ago. But the real question is, did we find what we were looking for? Did we discover evidence of a living Megalodon in the Marianne Trench? Stay tuned to find out! We are mindful moments and join us as we discover and explore the captivating realm of science, technology, conspiracies, and the universe. If you want to watch more videos like these, click on that red subscribe button and ring the bell to get notifications on our latest upload. Deep within the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean, lies a place of wonder and intrigue, a realm that challenges our understanding of the natural world, the Mariana Trench. With its mesmerizing depths and enigmatic creatures, this oceanic chasm beckons us to embark on a journey of exploration and discovery. In this video, we will plunge into the depths of the Mariana Trench, shedding light on its fascinating features and in search of clues about the legendary Megalodon's existence and its potential ties to the enigmatic abyss. The Megalodon, a prehistoric shard that lived millions of years ago, is believed to have been one of the largest predators to ever swim the Earth's oceans. While its scientific name Otodus Megalodon, it simply means Big Tooth. Scientists speculate that the largest known megalodons have reached an astonishing length of 82 feet, although the average size was likely around 58 feet. To put this into perspective, it far surpasses the size of the largest great white shark, which typically measures about 20 feet. In fact, these colossal creatures even approach the dimensions of fully grown blue whales, which can reach lengths of 69 feet. As the bodies of megalodons were primarily composed of cartilage, their remains are not commonly found in the fossil record. Instead, scientists rely on discovering their jaws and teeth, some of which measure a remarkable 6 inches or more in length. Interestingly, baby and juvenile megalodon teeth were discovered in shallow waters off the coast of Panama, suggesting the presence of a nursery area where young megalodons could feed on smaller fish without the risk of predation from larger fish. When fully grown, megalodons would hunt larger prey such as whales, dolphins, porpoises, sea turtles, and essentially anything they desired. Fortunately for us modern humans, the last known megalodon is believed to have gone extinct around 2.5 to 3.5 million years ago. However, the question remains, did this mighty predator truly vanish from the depths of the ocean, or does it still roam undetected in some remote corners of the seas? The pursuit of the megalodon on the Mariana Trench has been fueled by technological advancements in deep sea exploration and a few, well, a lot of rumors of seeing one. Sophisticated remotely operated vehicles or ROVs and unmanned submersibles now enable scientists to navigate the extreme depths and capture high definition images and data. These cutting edge tools allow researchers to investigate the uncharted depths of the Mariana Trench collecting valuable information that may shed light on the existence and behavior of this ancient apex predator. The Mariana Trench, located in the western Pacific Ocean, is the deepest part of the Earth's oceans, plummeting to a staggering depth of approximately 36,000 feet or 10,972 meters, it surpasses the height of Mount Everest, making it a place of superlatives. This remarkable trench is formed by the collision of two tectonic plates, creating a subduction zone where one plate slides beneath the other, resulting in the formation of a deep and narrow crevice. Its staggering depths also offer a unique opportunity to delve into the unknown and potentially uncover evidence of the megalodon's existence. This abyssal chasm serves as a gateway to a realm that holds secrets from ancient times. Exploring the hidden recesses of the Mariana Trench could provide vital clues about the elusive megalodon's habitat and the conditions it may have thrived in. 
The quest for the Megalodon deep within the Mariana Trench represents the epitome of human curiosity and the insatiable desire to uncover the mysteries of our planet's past. While the existence of the Megalodon continues to be a subject of scientific debate, exploring the depths of the Mariana Trench offers an unparalleled opportunity to unravel the secrets of this legendary creature. But can this legendary creature thrive under the deep waters of the Mariana Trench? In short, no. Despite its intimidating depths and extreme conditions, the Mariana Trench is teeming with life. Adapting to survive in this unforgiving environment, extraordinary creatures have evolved to withstand the crushing pressure, freezing temperatures, and perpetual darkness. From the ethereal beauty of the bioluminescent organisms that light up the abyss to the resilient deep-sea amphipods that thrive in extreme conditions, the trench holds a myriad of intriguing species waiting to be discovered. With this information, it can be hard for a megalodon to survive in these waters as 1. Megalodons were warm water creatures. In fact, paleontologists believe a cooling period that froze the ocean in areas where megalodon pups matured may have been the primary reason for their demise. The deep ocean is too cold for them to survive. Second, the megalodons were extremely large animals that ate other extremely large animals nothing big enough, or numerous enough to sustain them lives in the Mariana Trench. Third, if megalodons were leaving the trench to hunt whales and such and then going back to hide there for some reason, we would see evidence of it in bite marks on whales and other large animals, as well as thousands of freshly lost megalodon teeth on the ocean floor. Fourth, for a species to survive and multiply, there must be a breeding population at least in the hundreds to provide the necessary genetic diversity for species survival. Such a large number of megalodons could not go unnoticed. And last but not the least, the reason megalodons may have gone extinct is that great white sharks, which hunted in the same biomes, were better genetically adapted to the environment. Great white sharks are decreasing in population and taught to number only around 3,500 individuals today. It would be surprising if the less competitive megalodon were somehow able to thrive in a modern world that is far less conducive to sharks than the prehistoric world was. However, curiosity gets the best of us and the question of what if the megalodon did exist or was found? It would be then best to leave it alone and study it from afar as we don't want it finishing off important other species in the ocean. The Mariana Trench remains a captivating enigma, inviting us to delve deeper into the mysteries of our planet. As we continue to explore its depths, we gain valuable insights into the resilience of life and the extraordinary wonders hidden beneath the ocean's surface. As technology advances and our understanding of the ocean deepens, the search for the megalodon remains an exciting endeavor, and the found could serve as a historical moment from across the globe. The Mariana Trench serves as a testament to the inundomitable human spirit, as we boldly venture into the unknown in pursuit of knowledge and the unending desire to unravel the secrets of our world. And that is all for this video. We hope you enjoyed the underwater exploration with us. Please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button to encourage us in making more videos like these in the future. And if you have any mystery, scientific discoveries, and conspiracies you want to share, let us know in the comments below. We're Mindful Moments, dedicated to exploring the captivating realm of science, technology, conspiracies, and the universe. See you again in the next video.